I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Happily, I feel that I learn something every time I face you, even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Let us begin. Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. senior student has a spare moment to spend with me? An honor. No, wait, I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. It certainly won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, you must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. That's easy enough for you to say. You're already the best in the school. The rest of us just stare at your back. Of course, there could be worse views. Maybe I should spend more time training, and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. I'm sure you've figured out most of my little quirks by now. I've been here a few years. When I am done, I haven't really thought about it. I won't go home. There's no place for me there. If I can stomach the books, I could become a scholar. Perhaps I'll go to the Imperial City. I should see it at least once in my life. If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Other than what Dawnstar senses, all I have is stories, but they're becoming more and more common. 
tales of people being haunted by loved ones, and mad ghosts attacking people on the roads, or even in their homes. And Master Lee accepts Dawnstar's ability to see and sense things others can't. If he believes her, then how could I believe otherwise? If you wish, what do you want to ask about? Of course. I have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? Excellent! Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain's sparring ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. Thousand cuts! Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. Very well. I'll choose someone who is competent in one-on-one -on -one combat. This is only a practice bout, so fight until your opponent is knocked out. Get ready. Good. Another victory well earned. Now, is there anything else you would like? Goodbye. I am here if you need anything. Typical. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. A senior student? Master Lee's little lapdog here to talk to me? My lucky, lucky day. Don't you have something more important to do? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Try Lynn. She'll say anything to please you just to see your simpering little smile. Pathetic. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. Student, I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? There will be a time for that later. 
I have kept you hungry for information, but you must trust that my reasons are valid. It is for your benefit that I do this. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. You will have your chance to fight soon enough. Go to Gu Jin, the Weapon Master. He has a weapon for you, and you will have need of it before long. On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the Father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. 
That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you if he wanted to learn anything from anyone. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Li was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? I don't like your bad feelings. They always end up being right. Remember the grass fire? Half of the field's gone in a day, and you knew it would happen. You said you felt the lightning coming, but not even Master Lee knows the weather like that. I trust your instincts. You are full of such promise. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. I can speak now or during our walk. Master Lee suggested that I accompany you, in case you require assistance. His workshop is in the center of the village by the gate, up the stairs from the square. It's the largest and most permanent building. You must be tired if you're asking me about that. You've talked to him many times. I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Li was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully, I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? We are all spiritual creatures. When we die, our spirits are released to find their way to the underworld. The journey eases the transition from life to death. If their time among the living was troubled or painful, spirits sometimes get lost. They can seem almost alive and are often mistaken for living creatures. They usually only appear for a short time. They say what they need to say and then are drawn to the underworld. If a person's life was very traumatic, his or her spirit can lose its way for a long time. They can go mad trapped in the world of the living. Maddened spirits change. They lose their connection to the living world and begin to channel darker emotions. They can be very dangerous. I've only seen hints of those. It's been enough. I'm very worried about what may be coming. I don't know. That's the kind of thing old men sit on mountains to discover. Some say it is a place of judgment. Maybe it's about reincarnation. You'd think we could just ask the spirits themselves, but if we can't really understand our own answers, how can we hope to fathom theirs? We should get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am worthy of standing beside you. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. We'll get first crack at the good stuff. 
You're right. This isn't worth it. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. We should go to Gujin for a weapon like Master Lee said. Then we can address whatever threat these bandits pose. We should get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am worthy of standing beside you. So awful. Heavens, no! This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Uyuir Shakir Uksayanam. Zawani Karpa. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. <laughs> if you'd prefer, I don't need to use the fan. Now. What brings you here? Already? I assume you dealt with them, and the rest are in for quite a surprise when they get here. Well, no time to waste. Dawnstar, I watched you practice with that new blade yesterday, and I must say you take to it naturally. I want you to keep it and use it as your own. This is a great honor. A good weapon is a true warrior's most treasured possession. You know, you came here with Master Lee as just a babe. I came not long after, and I've been holding on to a weapon for you ever since. Well, two, actually. But you need to choose which one you'll take. Master Lee wants you to stay focused on your first weapon. Anything? Everything. I don't know where your master acquired these, but he has honored me with the care of two legendary weapons. You may arm yourself with either the legendary longsword, Fortune's favorite, or the famed staff, Golden Star. I'm afraid not. She would not be able to handle one of these weapons quite yet. I'll explain why in a moment, but suffice it to say that very few people have your aptitude for maintaining focus in battle. In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this, but don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. Your weapon is well deserved, and you'll need it with these bandits so close. If you decide you truly don't like it, however, you can come see me after the bandits are dealt with. One more thing you need to know. These weapons strike with deadly precision, but to wield them safely, you must focus with each strike. Master Lee has been training you so that you'd be ready for this kind of weapon. And the drain won't be crippling, but you will get tired over time. That you should. Those people will be looking to you for leadership until Master Lee gets back. I know you'll do well.
Senior student. Oh, excuse me, Weapon Master. I did not mean to interrupt. Calm down, student. What has you so flustered? The bandits. They've already been sighted down by the beach, and they're making their way toward the town. They're making their way toward the town now. The few men in the militia weren't able to stop them. If you think that is wise, I will come and do what I can. I'm sorry, my friend, but student CPAT isn't ready to face real combat. He has only just arrived. He has a big heart, but that is not enough for bandits. Go to the school. Seal the gates. We will deal with this. Yes, Dawn Star. I'll go now. Those gates will stay closed on my watch. You can count on it. You've done well, lad. Go back to the school now. Your friends have some new weapons they're dying to try out, I'm sure. There is no time to talk. We have to save the village from these bandits. Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're gonna sneak around. I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. and cuts. Long sword. There is no time to talk. We have to save the village from these bandits. These loud will show no mercy. I knew someone from the school would help. No one else could. Please, my boy Nijo is trying to fight them down on the beach, but we need someone skilled. I can hear fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. another village with no purpose. I will replenish our supplies and continue my search elsewhere. You will all, of course, have to die.
Your skills are more than this tiny village warrants. But I also see something strange, an oddity. You could be an anomaly or a sign of who I seek. A further test is needed. These mercenaries are not the only threat I command. Let us see you contend with this. Impressive. Clearly, I have been too dismissive in my search. This village will be torn asunder. Whatever you are hiding, I will have it! I have seen enough of your skills. You will die now, so I am not troubled later. Well fought, my student, but I cannot risk you against a foe like this yet. So blatant. We never thought to look in so humble a place. We expected an army. Your strategy, as always, is impeccable. Your search is over, assassin, but no one will hear of your success. It would seem that my past is catching up to me, and you are destined to be swept along. You have faced your first spirit opponents far sooner than I intended. Dawnstar can explain the nature of such creatures. I must go and make sure everything is in place. I thought I had more time, but perhaps you are ready. Do not be so quick to thank me. My influence caused this attack. You were not meant to see this yet, but now there is no choice. I will explain to the school. You have done well, but more than this awaits you. See to your fellow villagers and students and return to me at the school. We have a great deal to discuss. We fought well against those bandits, but I had no idea Master Lee could command that kind of power. He destroyed that ship so easily. This is so confusing. Master Lee said I could explain the nature of spirits, but these were different. That sorcerer forced them to appear like wild dogs let loose. So many spirits seem lost, as if the way to their rest is blocked. I didn't think they were dangerous, but those on the beach... I sensed madness. Time drove them mad. You disrupted them by defeating them in combat. They will not reform for a long time. I hope there is peace in that, but I don't know. So much is worrying me. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't... I don't want anything to happen to this home. 
I've never belonged anywhere else. Names or titles are often given based on significant events or particular skills. I was apparently named for a red glow opposite the morning sun on the day of my birth. I have no other information than that. I remember moving around a lot. And for some reason, the robes of that sorcerer look familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing. Just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was, or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he's not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just be. <laughs> there you go again with your playful words. I never know when you're serious or what my reaction should be. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Well, we've already visited Gu Jin, who used to be a guard in the West, they say. Old Ming always has a story, and he's usually by the statue on the beach. Merchant Ben Do is in the village square. He's been expecting new goods any day now, for weeks. Oh, for training or learning the philosophy behind martial combat, go see Smiling Mountain. He is behind the ring, near the student quarters. <laughs> He's always amusing. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. <laughs> 